Tina Jones is a 28-year-old African-American female who presents to the clinic today for a comprehensive physical for a pre-employment screening. Her vital signs are stable. She denies any weight loss, sleep problems. Her diet has improved since her last visit. She is currently eating healthier and exercising more frequently. She's alert, oriented, voice and vocabulary are appropriate for age. Speech is appropriate and understandable. She has a history of diabetes type 2 and asthma. She also stated she has hypertension, but is not currently being treated for that, and her blood pressure has since been under control since she's lost weight, started exercising, and improved her diet. She takes blood form in 850 milligrams twice daily, preventable as needed, two puffs every four hours for acute asthma exacerbation, and fluticasone perianate, 88 micrograms twice daily for asthma. She has also started taking breath control, Yaz, which she takes once daily, Advil she takes as needed for menstrual cramps, but since that since she started taking Yaz, yeah, she has not needed to take Advil. Mrs. Jones is allergic to penicillin with a reaction of hives, last taken as a child, has not taken it since then, and allergic to cats, which increases her asthma exacerbations. Mrs. Jones started wearing glasses, which were prescribed three months ago for blurred vision. She denies any double vision, eye pain, watering of eyes, burning, headaches, or drainage. She does have blurred vision when she's not wearing her glasses. She has no hearing loss, ringing in ears, ear drainage, or pain. No nasal congestion, epistaxis, pain, or sinus pressure. She denies any throat pain, dysphagia, or throat swelling. Objective, she's normal cephalic symmetrical head. Facial, she has some skin bumps to her bilateral cheeks from acne. Skin discoloration, some striae is located around her neck on assessment. Her range of motion to her head and neck is intact. Muscular strength is 5 out of 5. For her eyes, there's no ptosis, redness, injection, swelling, drainage, perla. No ocular injury or abnormality. Ocular movements and convergence are intact. Peripheral vision is intact as well. Her vision is 20-20 in both eyes with corrective lenses. Her ears are normal on assessment. Her right ear, the cone of light, is at 5. There's no drainage or thymia. Membrane is visible. Pearly gray and intact. Left ear, cone of light, is at 7 with no drainage or erythemia. The tympanic membrane is visible and pearly gray. And is also intact. Her hearing is intact bilaterally. The whisper test was completed and passed. She has no deviated septum, no drainage, no foreign objects. The mouth and throat has no etheremia. Drainage, her tonsils are 2 plus, no nasal drip. Tongue is normal in size, no abnormal movements, no swelling. Her dentition is intact and her thyroid is smooth without nodules or goiter. Respiratory, she denies any shortness of breath, wheezing, difficulty breathing, respiratory distress on exertion. She takes her steroid inhaler daily and reports her rescue inhaler use of one time in the last three months. Last asthma exasper exasperation was about six months ago. Her last chest x-ray was in high school and the last TB test was a couple of years back and negative. Her chest is symmetrical with equal rise and expansion. The lungs are clear on auscultation to all lobes. No adventitious sounds. The tactile fomitis is equal bilaterally. No tenderness, no lumps, lesions, respirations are relaxed and even. All areas were resonant on percussion. Cardiac, she denies any chest pain. No shortness of breath, no orthopnea. No edema present. 
no complaints on exertion. Her last EKG was within the last two years. She has no history of rheumatic fever or heart murmurs. She reports a healthy diet and exercise routine four to five days a week. She does have a significant family history for hypertension and high cholesterol, which was in her mother, father, her paternal grandmother, and paternal grandfather, her paternal maternal grandmother and grandfather. Her carotid arteries are 2 plus, there's no throat or brillet, on J no JVD or pulsation. The PMI is non-displaced, no fumes or lifts, S1 and S2 are present on auscultation, no extra health. heart sounds were present, no gallop, no murmur. The rhythm is regular as well as the rate. She denies any nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, no diarrhea, no heartburn or indigestion. There's no changes in bowel or bladder, no incontinence. The, her bowel movements are regular and daily. They're formed. There's no blood in her stool or urine. She denies any changes in appetite. She has a history of diabetes with metformin twice daily. Menstrual cycle is regular, takes birth control daily, and reports improvement with cramps. Her abdomen is protuberant, symmetrical, no apparent masses, skin is smooth, stray is present on abdomen, increased hair growth around the umbilicus is noted, bowel sounds are present and normal active. There's no bruits to arteries, abdomen is soft, no pain or tenderness on palpation, no masses were present on light or deep palpation. Abdomen is generally tympanic in all areas. The liver was palpable one centimeter below the right costal margin. The spleen is non-palpable and then there's no dullness on percussion. Right and left kidney is non-palpable, no masses or CVA tenderness were noted. Tina's diet has since improved since her last physical. She's avoiding sweets, managing her health diagnoses properly with medications. Her typical diet consists of a smoothie, fruit, yogurt, or an egg. Lunch is leftovers from dinner or a sandwich on wheat bread. For dinner, she typically has chicken or fish, vegetables, and rice or quinoa on the side. She exercises four to five times a week by walking or swimming. She denies any joint pain or stiffness, no recent trauma or injury, denies any difficulty ambulating, is able to perform all the ADLs independently. She occasionally lifts heavy boxes at work, but generally is able to receive help with that. Her upper extremities are symmetric. There's full range of motion. Strength is intact, 5 out of 5. Deep tendon reflexes are intact, and sensation is intact. Lower extremities are symmetric. Full range of motion and strength is intact. 5 out of 5, deep tendon reflexes are intact and sensation is intact. Neurologically, Tina is appropriate. She's alert and orientated. She denies any dizziness, headache, no head injury, no weakness, no numbness or tingling, no difficulty swallowing or speaking. She's orientated to person, place, and time. Her appearance is appropriate. Behavior is calm and cooperative. Her speech is appropriate. Her pupils are equal and reactive to light. Her cranial nerves are all intact. Her coordination is intact on assessment. She denies any skin issues, no pain, cuts, injury, rashes, or concerns. No history of skin disease. She has ac acne but reports improvement with birth control use. And she does use sunscreen when she's in the sun for any period of time. Her skin is intact throughout. She has some freckles to the right upper back, striae to the abdomen and neck. She does have increased hair growth to the face and umbilicus. Her skin color is normal for race, race and ethnicity and even pigmentation. Her skin is warm to touch, dry and smooth. Her skin trigger is normal. There's no lesions noted. Her hair is evenly distributed. She has thick texture. No lesions or evidence of pest inhabitants are noted. Her nails, there's no clubbing or deformities. Nail buds are pink with adequate cap refill less than three seconds to her fingers and toes. Medically, Tina's assessment is normal. There's no abnormalities noted throughout the physical. She's appropriate. 
and able to answer all questions adequately.